Good food, bad diet. The habits you need to ditch. Diet culture. Lose weight and fix your relationship with food forever. Registered dietitian Abby Langer is here to get our new year off to a good start. And congratulations on your first book. Good to see you. Thank you. It's so good to see you. So this book is basically saying it's not the food. It's the diets and diet culture that's sucking the life out of us, literally. Sorry, I have to... Oh, like, getting focused there. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it is. You know, diet culture is basically that... Um, the school of thought that... Uh, or set of beliefs that thin is the ideal body shape and that thin should be attained at any price, including just punishing yourself over and over again um, for years uh, with diets. What are our worst habits? I think the worst habit, honestly, is just expecting like a quick fix. People think that they're going to eliminate like an entire food group out of their diet or they're going to cut calories drastically um, or they're going to drink like some nasty apple cider vinegar thing that's going to burn fat, which it doesn't. Um, and and it, it, they just, these habits aren't healthy. They're not sustainable. And, you know, we end up where we were, but just with a worse damaged relationship with food in our bodies. Right, because you know, so often, even if we see these things working, it's invariably short term, and we just uh, fall back to to where we were. Now, the book is also um, debunking a lot of things. You want to run through a few of them? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's start with gluten. Yeah, you know, gluten. Some people do need to take gluten out of their diets, but the vast majority of people who do it. Um, are just following a trend and they're making their diet more restrictive and a lot of gluten-free diet gluten-free foods not only are expensive like packaged foods they're no healthier than regular food so gluten containing food right so we're Don't not helping ourselves at all diet. again there are legitimate yeah. uh, cases where that, that's required but uh, yeah it certainly okay. became the thing to do uh, soy there's a lot of um, discussion about yeah, that and potential people, diseases yeah. Yeah, so there's no research at all that shows that soy causes breast cancer in women. A lot of women are extremely nervous to eat soy. Um, actually, it may be the opposite. Research suggests that it may prevent soy may prevent breast cancer, um, and it's a great, inexpensive, high quality protein. Eat more yeah. plants. Uh with exercise, a lot of us uh, will try to exercise off the calories that we ate. Not a good idea. No, it's awful. First of all, you cause your body a lot of stress, which releases uh, cortisol, which is a stress hormone, helps you uh, keep your fat um, or gain fat because when you're stressed, that's what happens. Um, it also creates this ever everlasting vortex of horribleness where you <laughs> exercise over exercise and then you and then you get hungry so then you start eating a lot and then you you want to exercise it off and then you get hungry and it's like a horrible thing and it's also a horrible way to look at food and exercise like exercise should be uh pleasurable it should be you know not, it's not always fun but it's like should never be for the purpose of punishing yeah. yourself because you're Ever, everlasting vortex of horribleness write that down for the title of your next book <laughs> Before we go, this is, we don't have to drink eight, we have like 30 seconds left, we, we don't have to drink eight ounces of water a day. Coffee? It um, counts as fluid? Yes, yes. I know, when I was in nutrition school, we used to think that coffee, like every coffee cup you had, you had to drink a glass of water. It's not true. It's not as much of a diuretic as we thought. And Oh, that's great news. Coffee. I got to go. I need fluids. <laughs> We're going to fill up. Abby Langer, we'll link up where we can buy Good food, bad diet.